Hello people, this is self Tuts and we are continuing our series on Lambda function. In this video, you will see handler function in Lambda. So what is a handler function? Every Lambda function defines a handler function in it that when anyone hits a request, then which function is going to handle that function, uh, handle that request. So handler function are the entry point inside a Lambda function. So handler function runs when lambda is invoked. So you can invoke lambda from multiple places and they can be like API gateway of AWS. So when, he, when a user hits a request to the API gateway and that API gateway is connected to a lambda function, then that lambda function will get invoked. So when this function is invoked, then there is a handler function which will handle the request. So if there is a new picture upload in s3 and if that invokes a lambda function then there should be a handler function which handles the event from that s3 bucket and do some processing so you need to provide the file name and the name of the lambda function in lambda configuration which means when you are configuring your lambda function to specify the name of handler function then you need to provide the file name and the name of the function so suppose you are writing a bigger project and a single lambda function contains multiple function so suppose there are 10 to 12 function so you need to specifically provide the name of that function which will handle the request or which will handle the event so basically the uh, syntax that we use is the name of the file and the exported function name. Since we are using Node.js while doing this development work with Lambda function, so we'll use the syntax of Node.js. So in Node.js, it says that if you want to export, if you want to make some function visible to the external world, then you have to use the export statement. So the name of the file is index.js and we are exporting a handler function. So the name of the handler function here is dot handler and the syntax is like this that it is a function and it, it accepts three argument and these argument are event context and callback we will see in detail about these arguments in the subsequent videos but for now you have to understand that to specify the name of the function you have to use file name and the exported function name so suppose we are uh, using this lambda function in our aws lambda then the name of the file here is index.js and the name of the function is handler so while doing the configuration of our lambda function you have to provide the syntax as index dot handler handler function is exported so that it is visible so as i have told you earlier that to make this function visible to the external world to make this function visible to the uh, other code then uh, you have to use the export statement so we are exporting this function handler so it is visible to the outside world so that it can be interacted so you need to understand here that the in this case we are using the file as index.js and the name of the function as handler so we are specifying in our configuration that our handler function is index.handler now we'll go to our uh, amazon web console and we'll see these configuration there so we have we we are going to the AWS site. You have to sign up here to get some free tier for one year. We have already done those things. So we are directly going to our console. And inside the console, you can see there is a services tab. On clicking this service tab, uh, there is a section of compute and inside compute section, there is Lambda. So we are doing our coding in Lambda. So we'll go to this service and this is the web console for lambda means you can do all the configuration creating of new lambda functions here at present these are the lambda functions which i have created and we'll see the hello world lambda function which which is using the runtime environment of node.js 6.10 you can use other languages also like uh, java or python but we are using node.js so we'll open this function and you can see this is the uh, code of the lambda function so when you are developing your lambda function using the web console of aws then the name of the file automatically is the index.js file so inside index.js file you have uh, you are saying that we have written the same syntax as we have seen in our slide that exports.handler equal to function and that accepts three argument event context and callback so here three arguments are there event context and callback so we are specifying that 
this lambda function has a handler function and the name of that function is handler. Now we need to specify this in the configuration of this lambda function. So in the configuration tab, there is a section that we have to specify what is the name of our handler function. So the name of the file is index and the function that is uh, that works as the handler function is the handler. So we have written index.handler. Now we'll try to test this code by hitting the test button and you can see that we are getting a response of hello from lambda which is here that is we are calling a callback we'll understand the details of this callback in subsequent videos but here you see for now that hello from lambda is uh, inserted in, into the callback function and that is getting uh, written from this lambda function we have also used a console log statement and it says hello world i am learning aws lambda and which you can see here that the log is getting printed hello world I am learning AWS Lambda. Now we'll try to change the configuration or we'll try to change the name of the ha handler function. So now my handler function is exports dot my handler. But in the configuration, I have written the handler function as index dot handler. So when this function will get invoked, then what will happen? There is no handler function defined which is present as in the configuration file so this will give us error so we'll do a save and test and you can see here that the error message is there handler handler missing on module index so our index file does not contain any function with the name handler and it, it is not exported also so there is an error now we'll go to the configuration file and we'll change the name of our handler function as my handler so we'll change the function name as index.myhandler so the name of the file is index and the function that is exported is my handler we'll again do a save and test and this time you can see it is working fine so you need to understand that the how to specify the handler function in, in lambda configuration is by using the file name and the function that you have exported so this is all about handler function in lambda if you like my channel please subscribe to it and if you like this video please give a thumbs up thank you